These days there are so many choices when going grocery shopping. Even something as simple as buying a carton of eggs can become pretty confusing. So we want to have a look into a few different farming methods here in WA so we're a little more informed about the welfare of the animals. Ian Wilson owns a free-range farm in Munster where his 14,000 hens can roam in the outdoors for eight hours a day. Ian, you're a third-generation egg farmer and this farm has gone full circle. That's correct. Uh, my grandparents uh, started the farm back in the uh, late 30s and they were a free-range farmer. And then in the 70s, my dad converted the farm to a cage system and now uh, we decided uh, that we would revert back to the free-range system. So you've farmed both ways. Do you believe free-range is better for the animals? When the birds are in the cage system, they're given a healthy diet and they're well protected from the elements. Whereas in the free range, a lot of diseases that the birds can pick up from wild animals, they're susceptible to predators. What are some of the benefits of free range though? Because they're a, uh, basically a social animal, they like to habitat together. So this does give them uh, that interaction. Uh, it also gives them the benefit of, of a comfortable environment inside the shed with access to feed and water when they want it. And you say there has been a change in consumer attitude, but does that mean your attitude has changed as well? You've done both. Uh, whether it's either system, uh, the welfare of the birds is optimal and uh, we need to be uh, diligent uh, either way. Caged egg production is the most controversial method. The animals are kept in wire cages with no access to the outdoors. Farmers say the advantages of better disease control, less of an impact on the environment with less land needed, and greater productivity, especially with a huge demand for eggs. However, big companies like Coles, Woolies and McDonald's are phasing out or have already banned caged eggs. And this kind of production isn't supported by the RSPCA. However, the Animal Welfare Group does support a barn or an aviary system like this, saying a well-managed barn can have some different benefits to a free-range facility. Nigel Dinkreve is part of the team at Forestdale Farm Fresh Eggs. And they operate this brand new state-of-the-art aviary. It's an advanced barn system, the first of its kind in WA, and houses 15,000 hens. Well, comparing it to the free range in the barn, like for example, this um, this system here, this aviary system, is uh, it has natural sunlight, sunset lighting system. It's fully computerised, so we can control the uh, the temperatures a lot better because uh, 18 to 23 degrees is their best egg laying temperature. So if we can get as close to that as we can, then uh, the hens are going to be happier and uh, at the end of the day they'll actually lay better quality eggs for us as well. This is the Hilton for, for the hens. As egg producers say, free range eggs are more labour intensive and this is one of the reasons why they are more expensive. On average, they're about double the cost of caged eggs. If you want any more information on this story, we'll have these details on our website.